If you were to give someone out, when, when, you, become, when you become an umpire? You're going to become I'm not sure I've got the patience to be an umpire. I'd like to think I had, but can you really see it? Would you be a bowler's umpire or yes. a batsman's umpire? Bowler's umpire, without a doubt, especially spin bowlers. So basically, use your bat or else you're out. No, I just say it's been a city, I'm on the pads, I'm bored stupid. I've got around to golf tomorrow. Which isn't what all county umpires do, but there's a couple of them. But, uh, got around to uh, golf at three o'clock tomorrow, and you, you didn't get anywhere near. And Well, there's a, having looked at a lot of umpires over the years, there are definitely those that do give and those that don't appear to want to. They just love their cricket so much, I want to see him back. Yeah. Keep going. So I think umpire, and not out umpires, but you know, it has to be absolutely stone dead. For me, for the amount of times I've filled in the slips, you start a game with a goal like that, and it's almost like you've got to take 15 wickets instead of 10. I'm not happy. I'd be, I'd be the opposite, to be honest. I'd be like Ray Julian, he used to love an LBW. Really? I'd be new. LBW Swan. Sorry, young man. Good enough for me. Didn't Dickie Bird always used to say a few words, didn't he? That those were famously mouthing that. That's out, young man, that's out! Yeah. I never, never got given out by Dickie. I'd, my first, or one of my first ever second team games, he was actually umpire. I always remember it was at Milton Keynes, which if you've never been there, is like the end of like nuclear war has happened and there is no no survivors apart from the twenty two players and two umpires. It is there's more atmosphere on the moon than this place. Um, but the wind was howling and they had these new super light sight screens and it just blew the sight screen. And then he's really stop again! No 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 The sight screen was hurtling across the ground about thirty mile an hour. That's, that's what I remember about Dickie, him chasing after him. And he was no spring chicken when he chased it, uh, but he caught, he caught the damn thing. Dragged him along for a while, but... <laughs> <laughs> Brought him back. Well, I mean, he, he was a character, one of the first characters yeah. of One Pie, actually. David Shepard's also with his, with his one 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 the Nelson idea. Yeah. Uh, more recently, we've seen, we've seen the, the Crooked Finger, is it? I mean... Yeah. Yeah, someone always said that. Well, someone said that Billy, he's got a crooked finger because he had some sort of disease as a boy and he can't straighten his fingers. But then when you shake hands with him afterwards, he's like that. <laughs> so uh, I think that's uh, a bit of a misnomer. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, adding a bit of colour to a poem. Um, as long as you still give decent decisions, which you know, Billy does for the most part. There's a lot of technology now has come into the game, and I'm guessing that umpires. I'm guessing that umpires are seeing the technology and being judged a little bit by it, and therefore... Well, it's not a bad thing. Players get judged on performance, so umpires should. There's nothing worse than uh, if you have a bad umpire who thinks he... Because they all think they're good, obviously. You all think you're good at your job. Uh, but it refuses to admit that they're ever wrong. And if techno technology shows them up and makes them uh, rethink a few parts of the game, then it's got to be a good thing. Um, for, for many years, especially in county cricket, and still may happen to a certain extent, there's no sort of... Uh, you know, there's no sort of, no one to answer to if you make mistakes, right. there's no way of proving you're wrong. So the technology in test cricket has, has made that um, more or less obsolete. The, the umpire will give nothing out because you know, he, you know, he's never getting away with it. Um, or he's, he's always getting away with it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that doesn't happen anymore, which is good. Yeah, well, it's all in test cricket. I waffled a lot there, didn't I? Well, no, it's interesting because... You know what I was on about. I, I did, I did, yeah. I did. Because, you know, what you don't get in the lower levels of cricket, below international cricket, or any televised games, you don't get that referral. Exactly. And players play with, well, if it's out, it's out. And if it's not, bad luck, you know, come back yeah. next week. But it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's it. still, it's part of cricket on a Saturday that you'll get a, my brother, I spoke to him this week, so how much you get? He got 46, got given out, never out, missing leg stuff. Even the umpire said, I can't believe he's given that out. It's one of those things, that is part of club cricket, we can, yeah. we can. When it comes your job and you're playing for it, your career, then uh, it takes a bit more of a sort of a sinister side. If you're giving that out, I think he's got something against me. I'm going to firebomb his car and stuff like that. <laughs> Batsmen say things like this. They never actually do them, obviously. But, um, but yeah, if, if there is a way of ensuring that, you know, if you're out, you're given out, and if you're not, you get away with it. You know, you're not out, then it's a good thing. And I, I applaud that use of technology. Um, as long, as long as it's used wisely. Yeah, it's a good point made by someone a little while ago who said that because it's your, your, your profession, it's the whole idea of walking. You know, it's not hitting all of my Well, life, this is the whole thing. It, it, it would make the whole world a lot easier, um, the, the walking issue. If you, if you nick the ball and don't walk, then you can never, ever complain about a bad decision. Uh, and I'm sorry, that's how it is. No, no, no. If, if, if you're not a walker, then fair enough. Hold your hand up, say, well, I don't walk, I'll wait to get given out. But if you're then somebody who moans and spits the feather, spits the dummy if, if someone else doesn't walk and get shit, or if, if you take a catch that's, that you claim and it's proved that it, or it looks like it might have bounced, the umpire gives it not out, then you, you've got no place on the planet to, to have a ten, temper tantrum. You've just got to put up with it because it, you can't be a cheat in one aspect. Uh, oh, sorry, 
you can't use kidology on one side of the game, which is basically cheap. It's like diving in the boxing game of football uh, yeah. for Real and Barcelona fans. Um, and then expect to uh, everyone to be fair on the other on the other hand as well. So if you're a walker, then great walk, and if you're not, then put up with the bad stuff. Okay, just going back to talking about um, test there a moment ago, but uh, spin against pace over the winter. Obviously, Jimmy, a great mate, a fantastic series. Yeah. Now, more recently, you know, happy to be rested. He's almost saying because of the amount of cricket. I guess is one reason. Um, the balance in your ideal team. Different uh, it brings to the game. In my ideal team, you'd have two spinners and three seamers, um, but then you'd need. Uh, but I, I don't think that's worth doing if you're going to play in a wicket uh, that either is going to turn a lot, or one of your bowlers, whether it be one of the spinners or seamers, is one of the best batsmen in the world. I, I think South Africa are always in a wonderful position because Jack Callis, he, he provides that balance. I mean, we had it uh, to a certain extent with Freddie when he played because uh, he could bat six. Um, but yeah, you've got to be a world-class batsman. Um, I know you're looking to get yourself up the order well, with your more recent... My last test in this, I was, I was robbed 100. I said to Chris Chairman, just wait around, I'm, I'm a few balls away here. So my 30 signal out proved uh, just a little way off in the end. And, I'd have got that. And, and a mixture of orthodox and, and made-up shots, or ones you've rehearsed and... Uh... Well, no, they're all orthodox shots. Um, they're just not to the orthodox delivery to play that shot to half the time. There's a lot of guesswork that goes into my batting and a lot of ego, I won't lie to you. Uh, a lot of people will say, no, no, I... I've got a level, very level head when I bat and I play each ball experience. I don't, I decide before he bowls that I'm going to try and hit it for six or four. And then if it's anywhere in that area, then I've got a better chance of doing it. It's got to go, isn't it? Yeah, batting's fun, make it fun. When every kid plays cricket, they always want to be the batsman because it's great fun smacking the ball. You don't go in the playground and practice your blocking, do you? No, but amazing, so, a lot of photos we see though is that somebody actually playing a defensive shot. Oh yeah, but the thing is, if, you, if you're batting the top six and it's your job, then, you know, blocking is an extremely important part of the game. If you're batting number nine and your role is to often try and grab a bit of momentum or score quickly, then <laughs> there's no place for it. <laughs> it's brilliant fun. Which brings on to the, the, the wickets. You know, so important to have a wicket. You uh, were talking uh, saying only about the different wickets that you play on, particularly even in, in England, and about how they favour or can favour some spin, some seam. What's a decent cricket wicket to you? Um, a, de a decent cricket wicket is seen as one that everyone gets something out of. That's most genuinely, genuinely viewed. The oval seems a good cricket wicket in England because it's got a bit of bounce and carry for the seams. It's not as quick as it used to be. It turns a little bit and it's good to bat on as well. That seems a good cricket wicket. Um, it's difficult. I mean, it, cricket gets hard in England when the ball swings, but or batting gets hard because you know batting against swinging deliveries it's just harder than when it's not. Um, we've got a couple of grounds like Trent Bridge, home of cricket, um, and say uh, Edge Baston where it swung last year where. You know, if we bowl well as an England team, we're, we're one of the best bowling attacks in the world because sometimes those wickets then turn later on and, and it allows me to come into the game. And do you think it's over the course of time there has been some, not favouritism, but wickets have been, you know, the grounds that are there preparing the wicket. It, it, that's not the best wicket I can get out of the surface or is sometimes it goes, well, I know who my bowlers are. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think that happens so much in test cricket. No. I think, um, more in test cricket, especially these days where grounds are almost paying to get the game. I think the groundsman's told you make sure this game goes as long as possible, get five days with the crowds. Um, I think maybe, you know, that's that's the way it is. If, if we're going to sell great test matches, that's going to happen more and more. But um, yeah, I'd be, uh, I'd certainly be in favour of, of England playing all their games at their grounds that suit them the best. Um, you Trent Bridges, Old Trafford's, Edge Basson. Um, because I think if you've got home advantage, you should use it. Because uh, um, <laughs> like when you go away from home, you don't have any advantage. So uh, why uh, why take it away from yourself? What's you now to be a bit of a role model for young players growing up, learning to bowl the art of spin? Anything particularly that you'd sort of pass on as a bit of wise words? Yes, if you're a spin bowler, spin it as hard as you can. That's all I'd say. Uh, work on your control later. Spin the ball as hard as you possibly can. Get the enjoyment out of spinning the ball. Don't have enjoyment out of just putting it in the right place and not turning it on the dot ball because that's rubbish. Um, you can always work on that when you're older. Work on spinning the ball square, beating the bat, getting wickets. That's what it's all about, on this spin. Fantastic. Okay. Have a bit of time. Have we got? We're, we're, we've got two trade press and we're right. quite right. th th 30 seconds and then I'm done. This seconds. will be a little bit. Okay. Getting old aging. I know. <laughs> what, 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 working with, working with, working with. 
Graham, role model, Kingfisher, India's number one lager. How do you see yourself fitting into the partnership here? Well, hopefully I can uh, you know, provide a, be a good ambassador for the brand. It's, uh, it's a massive brand, certainly in India. And, and you know, it's looking to sort of re rename itself in England. Hopefully I can be the sort of ambassador that they're after because uh, if I go for a curry, I like a kingfish. So it seems ideal for me. Great match your personality, of course. Outgoing, lively, lots of bit of fun, entertaining. Exactly. You said it. <laughs> You've seen me on stage, haven't you? <laughs> I forget which audition it was now, but it's... Uh, I know. It went well though. I it thought, did. Yeah, I thought it went well. It was very good. Okay, well, uh, we'll have to see how you can develop your role over the period of time. And keep it in your own basket. Graham Swan. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Cheers, Joe. Thank you.